Hey, it's Bridget. Hi, I have to work on some fancy entrances. <laughs> if I'm gonna be using my camera in this angle, I think I need to start doing some fancy, flashy entrances. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so hey, welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I want to talk to Carrie Fisher from The Afterlife. Yeah, you know, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, Star Wars, that whole thing, right? Well, we have spoken with Carrie before, and so she has a playlist. This, I think, is our third time. I think, is this our third time talking? Yeah, I think this is three, yeah. I just got back from Walt Disney World, Florida, and my second trip this year, and it's a place where I recharge, rejuvenate. I just feel so free and so expressive and so inspired myself when I'm there for a lot of reasons if you're interested in that stuff about me check out fairy grasshopper my youtube channel but i thought since i went to galaxy's edge which is the whole star wars themed land which is part of disney's hollywood studios theme park in orlando florida i thought since i went there i would have a conversation with carrie fisher upon my return plus i'm feeling kind of a woman empowerment a stronger awareness and recognition of this whole being a woman energy. And I'm not sure if that's part of the current events that have been going on where things are kind of trying to get back into alignment, such as what has happened in New York State recently, where there's now a woman governor. Yeah, cool. Or if it's, if it's, um, stuff that I've been working on in my own life, which I've shared with you if you follow my vlogs on my Fairy Grasshopper YouTube channel, you know that I've been working on shifting, creating opportunities and pockets for release and letting go and then reconnection for myself and my my expression as a woman, as a mother, and my motherly role specifically, and also working with what do I dream of? What are my desires? What do I want for my life as a person, as a being in this human body that I'm in, and this beautiful feminine body that I'm in, right? So a lot of acceptance and, and not even acceptance, a lot of, um, just openness, heart openness for me. And so I thought, let's talk to Carrie because I know that Carrie, my girl Carrie, she has struggled. You have had a lot of struggles and we've talked about this previously in conversations. I'm gonna have to have you. She's kind of over here, but I'm gonna have to move her here, I think, because otherwise I'll be squinting. It'll be too hard to, but it's kind of hard to get her. Just a minute, let me see if I can get her. I am clairvoyant, which means psychic sight, which means I use my third eye, which is this little spot right here. It's a chakra, look it up if you don't know what that means third eye chakra clairvoyance and so that's my preferred channel how I connect I see stuff pictures images movie like reels and actual beings I see energy I see energy that's what makes me really good at my job by the way as an intuitive coach as a psychic and a medium I see the energies <laughs> that's why I'm good at that I'm kind of sassy right now actually no I am empowered right now because I feel good filled up from my trip to Disney, okay? Because that's something that I know recharges me and gets me excited, so happy for life. As it has been given to me, just like you, the life that has been given to you, gifted to you. Carrie's like, wow, I like this new Bridget. I like this whole new Bridget. And it's cool, I'm gonna share with you how she looks. She is dressed up in like the guy clothes, okay? The costumes from Star Wars, like the dude attire she's dressed in. And it kind of looks like, um, oh, 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 I just saw the movie Raya and the Last Dragon on the airplane ride home. Raya and the Last Dragon, such a good movie. But the female lead, Raya, it's a like an animated film. And it's not Raya, the female lead, but it's the a girl opposite her, and I can't think of her name. Um, but it looks like, like the outfit that she's wearing looks like that. Like she's got like the tactical pants on, but they're kind of fitted at the knees and down and like boots kind of, but they don't go all the way up to the knee and like pockets, you know, like cargo pants have. And then this, um, let me just look and see. 
I can't tell if she has a black shirt on. It's like a fitted kind of tank top type shirt with a high neck, but I can't tell if it's black or if it's cream, kind of a beigey white cream. And I think it's intentional because the energy of the colors is the black is the absence of that absorbs what is needed and the white or the creamer cream ivory color is more of the imbued energy like in process energy so i feel like there's kind of a two pieces here actually it looks like there's like an ivory kind of a high neck kind of a tank top kind of fitted shirt and then there's like this little bolo kind of uh that goes over the shoulders, a little shrug kind of thing, like right um, just under the chest here, and it, but it's open, and it kind of goes over the top of that. So that's, and that's black. So it's almost like a cape, but not a very practical cape, of course. So it's, she's both, she's showing me both, like this whole part is in progress, and she's giving me information. Oh, do you feel this too? Are you in process? Like, are you in progress? Let's say that. Oh, I like that better. Oh yeah, thank you for the words. She's like, gee, Bridget, gee, Gress, progress, not to be confused with D like dress, <laughs> not a dress. I'm not wearing a dress on purpose, she says. It's time to like switch up the stereotypes and switch up the um, old platform of intended meanings that were kind of derived from old ways of doing life. And she's like, there's no need to be in a sci-fi film or anything like that in order to to shift these images in our minds and then our thoughts will change and we will project that onto the world she says and then the world will be a better place much more accepting she says it's really about accepting the love that you're given and in order to accept the love that you're given you must first accept the love that you are she said oh my god carrie that's beautiful in order to accept the love that you're given Oh, that feels so good in the heart. In progress, you guys, the heart's in progress. Oh, I literally feel like the whole right side of my body just kind of moved like this, kind of moved a little bit, that's energy flow. So I'm gonna close my eyes to receive this for myself as well. I invite you to do the same if you can. In progress, in progress. In order to the re receive the, the love, the love, not light, right? Yeah, love, love, the love that you've been given, that you're given, that's given to you. You must first accept the love that you are, that you are. Is there a part of you that it's hard for you to accept? And she says, we're not all good guy and we're not all bad guy. She said, we're just humaning. We're just people. And she says, and we're not all guys. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Man and woman. Ugh, this is how we began life. It was this and this, and now it's this beautiful, incredible, harmonized energy of identities and genders and, and, and growth and fluidity. And it's so beautiful, you guys. Like what she's showing me is kind of like the swirling, almost cosmos, but it doesn't look like the stars. It looks like earth swirling. Like it's got browns and whites, and it's this this very organic and natural flow of life. Beautiful. Carrie, you're super philosophical. Like, I don't know if I expected that or not. And she says, well, you're, you're receiving me that way. This is how you're ready to receive, Bridget. And someone that is watching is going to receive this exactly the way that they need to. This is why you've chosen this connection. You're so smart, Carrie Fisher. You're so smart. She says, thank you. She's like, thanks, I try. I try to be, yeah. She's funny too, by the way, you guys. She has a fun wit, a um, little sarcastic, kind of almost Midwest dry humor about her that I like and appreciate. Um, and she's showing me something Todd. Who's Todd? Is that a brother or something? She, sh she says Todd like out loud. And then she says to me, um, this understanding that life continues to grow and evolve beyond what our impression has been that we have left upon earth in this one tiny little lifetime that we have. She says, it's not to belittle our time here on the planet on earth. It's just to recognize how precious it is for all of us. It's so, she says, it's so, so, so important to be yourself and to be yourself with yourself and to yourself because if you can't be honest and true within yourself and your own 
image of self and your own time that you spend with yourself and your own mind with yourself and your heart with yourself, if you can't embrace what you are as, as, as the essence, she says the essence and the humanity, then you're missing so much. You're missing out on so much. You're just hurrying and getting through life. She says it's really about... I literally just felt my solar plexus kind of pull up and, and in a little bit. Like, it's almost like my solar plexus. My solar plexus is a chakra. It's where your spirit is, just like the heart chakra. Heart and solar plexus work really well together. Solar plexus is where your intuition is, your gut instinct, your gut feelings. You guys, that's what, that's what it is. I literally felt like it pushed in and kind of up and almost tucked underneath my rib cage, kind of right under the sternum to kind of touch. When we said that touch, my heart, it's trying to like, it's like my spirit is trying to get to my heart to just to to connect with it it's like it wants to embrace it my spirit the spirit energy of my soul of your soul your spirit wants to unite with the heart again and be again so it has been so our spirit and our hearts have been one oneness she said that's what the she says that's what the, the separation or the identity of separation um, creates for you is this, this disconnect between your heart and your soul. And she said, um, it's not that life is only about the spirit side of things, the expression of the energy of you, of the essence of you, but it is also about, it is about these two so together, so connected, so embraced that then when things need to be done that the mind does not understand, and and the body maybe processes in a way that's that's maybe misunderstood you have the courage and the momentum to be able to bring forward great change within yourself to release the pain that you feel to release the blame that you feel and the fault that you have and the hurts that you've that have been done to you but also that you keep replaying and revisiting so then you blame yourself and so you create this badness about you and it doesn't, it weakens the power of the heart and the soul together. And so then the mind has to step in and control things in a way that affects the body. The body gets really sad when that happens and the body is so intuitive and in tune. And she talks about this. Then your weight is affected. Your weight might be affected by um, medications that you take from mental health concern or issues that your challenges you're facing. It might be, and I can relate to that because when I get really stressed, I lose weight. And I'm in kind of that little phase right now. I'm starting to enter into that phase and I have to watch myself. I have to watch myself to make sure that I do eat regularly and that what I'm eating is balanced and that I do have some proteins and that kind of thing instead of just vegetables. I have to eat more. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not. But sometimes it's hard for my body to process a lot at a time. So I have to eat more frequently and I have to keep consistently make sure that I have balance in my diet during this stressful time. Why is it so stressful for me? Because I have a kid going off to college. I have stuff with my business that I'm trying to figure out and work out. And I have, I just have a lot of stuff right now that's on my mind and it weighs my heart down as well. So just like you, you guys, just like you, I deal with stuff. So do you, we go through cycles, it happens a lot lately and then with the world and health and school starting and the whole stuff with you know health and school starting I have a 12 year old and a 17 year old that'll be going to school again and a kid at college and then all this stuff and living in the dorms and I, I, there's a lot of health concern breathe with me to release that okay My heart is just pounding. So let me just calm the energy down. And Carrie said, <laughs> it's so funny, because she says it and then I say it. So that's what it's like she said, she said. That's why I say said, just so you know. She says, you, good example, Bridget. Good example, way to show the people, way to show them exactly what's happening and how this works for them. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I have a little bit of a headache too because of that. So let's breathe together, you guys. Okay, heart and soul, let's just feel this unity all right let's feel the embrace of the connection the solar plexus doesn't have to move up they they meet together they come together they embrace and they just don't want to let each other go you know it's like once they're connected the heart and the soul oh they don't need to ever be separated again you know it's so 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 sweet so let's do that okay carrie can you help us with that 
She says, oh, it's my pleasure. I'd love to do that. So she kind of comes in and she actually puts her hands on my shoulders. I'm going to let her do that. She says, are you comfortable with this? <laughs> and like I know, she says, I know how you're getting more comfortable in your body. I am getting more comfortable in my body. And that's why I also have to make sure that I'm managing my body's needs during my stress times. <laughs> She's like, okay, so soften the shoulders, Bridget. All right, so Carrie Fisher right here at the back of us. You can close your eyes if you'd like while she does this for you as well, or you can receive by proxy as I am receiving, okay? So, letting the heart and the soul just be together. Let them embrace, embrace, embrace each other like old friends that haven't seen each other for a long time or loved ones that have been separated. This, there's a beautiful longing, like this yearning for just the sweetest, sweetest embrace. Just the kind of, I see first the hands, almost like hands, yellow and pink hands, kind of reaching out to each other, coming together like this, just embracing and like holding hands, heart and soul, heart and soul holding hands. So breathe in. Softening the belly, soften the diaphragm. If I can do this on a camera, y'all can do this by yourself right now, okay? Soften the belly harder to do that yeah my soul my sacral chakra so my my hips my womb my pelvis the sacral energy there has been that divine woman that feminine body embodiment is has been a part of the very sacred work that I've been doing and so I can feel a nod to that but we're gonna focus <laughs> thank you she says okay Bridget hands on hips I'm like okay grab my hips so that I'm grounded Urgh. if you do feel not grounded work on the meridian there's a meridian that goes across your hips. You just grab your hips, kind of the, this top pokey part of the hips, you know? <laughs> just grab that and visualize a, kind of a bar balancing out or a light beam balancing across where your hands are on your hips and just feel that four points of support, the crest of the hips. The, the crest of the hips are two points that are right there with that meridian anyway, usually. And then your hands on top of it, just bring it all together. It really sinks it in because then there's four points of contact and then the bar across, not to separate, to really just shore up some stability. So hands on the hips like that right there in that spot right there. Oh, that instantly grounds my energy right there. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, so her hands are on my shoulders. I invite her, you to feel her hands on your shoulders as well. Oh, and she puts them kind of toward the back a little bit. So right at the tip tops of the shoulder blades. Oh boy, that actually, as soon as I start to rub my shoulders, it feels good. I invite you to do that as well. Thanks, Carrie. <laughs> Carrie Fisher, giving us energy work. <laughs> she's like, she's like, I'm an alchemist too, Bridget. I'm an alchemist too. I'm like, what do you mean by two? I got some people watching me that are alchemists. Okay, you guys, good vibes only, good vibes only, okay? So I literally feel that. So I'm gonna rub my own shoulders and I invite you to do the same if you'd like to touch your shoulders and just rub them a little bit just to give yourself permission to be touched. I have a hard time with that. I've had a hard time with that. I'm working on that for myself too in the interpersonal space. And so, so it doesn't feel like a in, intrusion. So it feels like a welcomed softening of the muscles in the, across the shoulders. Again, this is another balanced meridian across the shoulders, just like the hip one. So this can ground you. Your heart can feel shored up from that. Okay, an assurance an assurance that you are okay or you're going to be okay. This is bravery, this is courage, not bold actions, but this is just being in and with yourself. If you can't, like she said, if you can't be yourself with yourself, then what, like, what's the point of this life experience? Come on, come on, come on. All right, so I'm gonna spread this in on the shoulders. Oh, I can feel the hands underneath my hands. Oh, that was so cool, literally. I just literally felt her go to the back of the neck. I wish I had a person to show you, but the back of the neck right right below, like right, if you could draw a line, you know how the back of the neck goes like this and it kind of comes out and the shoulders come? So right here, like where the throat chakra is, her hand is like right there on that point. So I can like feel the little bit of her thumb kind of touching the top of the shoulder blade and then the pinky kind of pointing outward it's almost like clearing the left side out through the right side very cool so let's let's imagine that back and that hand on the back right at the top of the back could be throat chakra that's being released for you or activated either one or the top of the heart and so let's just do that here breathe in and exhale out. I see a lot of green, like a turquoise, 
teal green, very teal. Energy, so breathing in and exhaling out. Work being done in the heart space, welcoming your heart, opening up your awareness. She said, this is for awareness. This is for the gift of you so that you can recognize that the love that you are receiving is intended to support the love that's already there, she says. It's supposed to, when you receive love, she says, in relationship with others, simple, it could be as simple as opening a door for someone or a smile to someone. She says, when you receive love, a kindness from someone, it is intended to go in, not to fill a void, a blank space, it's not that. She says relationships aren't ever intended as that. Interaction with other humans is not intended to fill a void, something absent from yourself, she says. But it's, it's the purpose is to remind you to connect with that part of yourself that is there, that feels that way all the time, and to raise your awareness level in that. So turning up the volume on that within yourself. So when you receive that love, or you're able to receive that love from that smile, that act of kindness, or even something much deeper, like the love of your, your, sweet, your sweet pet, or you know, your, your dog, or greeting you when you come home from a hard day, or a loved one, somebody you love, or seeing your grandchild, even on Zoom, or being in the arms of, of your lover, you know, being able to actually be, feel that just incredible. It's gonna make me cry, I can just feel that. That's such a sweetness, right? It's so sweet. Like that's the nectar of life is what Carrie is sharing with us. Like that, that's what you're living for. So you have to be able to not just receive that because it, if you don't recognize that you have that love, even a little bit, she said, I'm not saying you have to think you're all that, that you're so great. That's not what this is about. It's not about thinking anything. It's about feeling and then knowing as you receive that kindness from someone, it empowers, powers up your kindness within you. And it, it, it turns on that part of you that may have been quieted down or tamped down by another emotional experience that maybe wasn't quite as good or empowering. And it, it helps to it helps you remember who you are and that you are that love, you know? She said, it's not really these bold, grand gestures, you guys. It's not this big, bold, oh, now I feel great. Woohoo, I'm fine, everything's great. It's not that. She said, it's not about perfection. She said, it's about progress. It's progress. This is the progress that you're making. This is the, the adventure that you're on. It's, it feels, I feel a bit at peace, but I also feel the peace and that flip side of it, which is a restlessness. So you might be feeling either one of these energies or emotions, peace or restlessness. Carrie, can you talk to us about this? Why would we feel both? She says you have to be able to discern, you know, determine which energy is which so that you know more of what you want. And it's not just articulating that in your mind or setting goals like for your career or for some kind of a job you want or some kind of relationship ideal or manifesting that something that you want. It's about giving yourself this space or room To have experiences that will feed you, that will fill you, that will expand you in ways that you will consistently have both the feelings of a restlessness, because that means it's time to move on, or that means it's time to recognize, no, no, not just move on though, that's, there's like five different things she's explaining to me at once, it's not just about moving on, it's about the restlessness, Carrie Fisher saying, the restlessness is about needing to have, needing to know yourself so, so well that you can trust yourself. So that the restlessness means there's a disconnection somewhere. Not, it doesn't mean it's bad, doesn't mean something's bad. It doesn't mean that person's bad, that job is bad, that car is bad, it doesn't mean bad. It doesn't mean not fitting. It just means it's not quite in sync it's not quite in a rhythm 
And it may be something you might be restless with something that you've been content with for years. And now you are changing, your rhythm has changed. And so you have to adjust the rhythm of whatever the thing is, whether it be a relationship, a job, a, a car, a home, a place to live, the way you eat, etc. how you dress even, that there needs to be an adjustment. That's why you're restless. And, and it's natural to have restlessness because you should have restlessness. It's a, it's a form of momentum. It does help you know when to move, move on from just this place or this point or this comfort level that you've acquired over time. And she says that that's what the restlessness is about, movement. She said, and it's about finding the new, the new rhythm or the renewed rhythm. Oh, I love that. Ooh, that's yummy. That's good. I like that. <laughs> that's good. Hmm. I feel empowered by that, the restlessness, the concept of the way you described that. Because oftentimes I think many of us feel like restlessness if we feel restless or something wrong with us. Like, why can't I just be happy? I need to practice gratitude. Let's be grateful. Let me make my three blessings list every single day. Which, by the way, okay, I'm being a little sarcastic because Carrie's sarcastic. So I can be sarcastic because she's sarcastic, right? I'm channeling her, right? But... The whole blessings list and the gratitude list, yes, that serves a purpose. Yes, that can work very well for you, 100%. It can be a great tool. But just to say, oh, here's this. Let's just cover that up. You know, it's like you're not getting rid of the stinky fish smell in the kitchen just by spraying some smell good perfume around. Now you have fishy smell and perfume, and that's really gross together. You're not covering it up by just being grateful. But you can start to shift your energy if that's a pattern for you. If you have challenges with your thoughts and you want to do something like that every day, it can totally help. I'm just saying, totally help. But because you're unhappy doesn't mean you're not grateful. Being restless doesn't mean you're not grateful either. So let's just be clear on that. Everything has its time. Everything has a rhythm, right? It's a timing thing. It's a timing. And it can be hard when timing is off. For sure, you guys, I know that. It can be really hard. It can be heartbreaking when timing is off. Yeah, I feel that too. Yeah. So let's take a nice breath in. She said, clear your throat, Bridget. Clear the throat chakra. So I'm gonna invite you to do that. Throw it right here. Just a nice breath in. Big belly exhale. Very nice. Hmm. Carrie is pretty amazing, isn't she? I had no idea you were so great with the whole energy vibes and the whole energy thing. Like, I'm surprised. That, I shouldn't say I'm surprised because all spirits can do stuff like that for you. If you need help with energy work, you can always ask, you know. But, wow, I haven't, we haven't ever actually done that. And she says, because you're getting more, she says to me, <laughs> because you're getting more open to it, to letting us help you she says like spirit she's like and letting for, to letting us help you i'm like i care fisher i want to have an, a, a conversation with you about divine feminist energy we're gonna have to put that one on the schedule because it's getting closer to the fall time and like equinox and fall equinox and the, the first day of autumn and all that that's like a whole yeah to me i feel that kind of seasonal Mm, like the fire and the low belly sacral chakra thing. So I want to talk to you about that. Maybe we'll do that in the fall here coming up. So so there you go. Whether you're a Star Wars fan or not, no matter. Here we have been chatting with Carrie Fisher from the afterlife. She's been doing some wonderful energy work for both of us. So I hope you have enjoyed it very much today. Here on Above Life Channel, my goal is always to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope, right? And some of the channeling sessions and the conversations I've had recently on Above Life channel here have been probably very different from your perspective, but this is how it works for me when I'm just having conversations myself with my spirit guides, with my healing helper teams, um, with afterlife celebrities and people that I'm comfortable with, like loved ones and things to help me. So this is how this works, okay? So it doesn't have to be this big production and you don't have to be some 
mega psychic. You don't have to be on YouTube to be able to connect and to receive energy. And you don't have to understand it either to help yourself switch your perspectives and know yourself better and trust your heart more and connect with your own intuition. It's just practice. It's like in any relationship, you've got to be with yourself. You've got to be willing to show up for you. And it's not about externally showing up. It's that internal, like Carrie said, about the love piece. You have to know that yourself so that then you can better receive and understand why you're receiving instead of having a disconnect as to why somebody is being so kind to you and giving you love. Instead of feeling like, well, I'm not worthy of that or I haven't done anything to earn that, you get to actually just feel that part of you that is that love also for yourself and then blend it together and mix it together and then amplify it, like expand it. And that doesn't just help you in the long run, it helps everybody that you know. Anybody that's in relationship with you or comes into contact with you at the grocery store, a stranger, it helps your animals, the pets, it, it's, it's beautiful. We are beautiful, we are. Mm -hmm. And we're in progress right now. So try to be gentle with yourself. I know I am trying to be gentle with myself too. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching. This is your life after all, remember that, okay? No matter what I share here and my perspective and the crazy cookie with strange ways I channel sometimes. <laughs> the strange ways I channel sometimes. This, all of this, it's, it's your life and you have to live it. You get the opportunity, this opportunity to live, to really live. So just live it. Thanks for being here. <laughs>